desire that you would be pure in heart. This is surprisingly is something that many people don't desire after. They desire God's will. They desire to be used powerfully by God, but they don't realize that means you need to also desire purity in your heart. A big part of your heart being purified is coming to a church where God's power is and finding like a Paul you can imitate after. If the person who is leading you is not pure, you cannot be pure. And you know what happens in the body of Christ is that there's a lot of people who don't desire purity. They follow people who are not pure because they don't desire purity. It justifies their actions. It gives them permission to continue in their ways. That's why some people, they aren't gravitated to pure-hearted ministries. It's too uncomfortable for them. They, in themselves, they don't want to change. So they go someplace else that makes them more comfortable. These are areas that many people, they don't want to change these things. A lot of Christians, they do not want to give up pride. That's the big one. They don't want to give up their ego. And so they'll be following certain certain people and then their leaders will not respond to situations humbly. Sometimes God will cause friction to happen, pressure to happen, where the true character comes out. When the friction comes against the pride, it can't be hidden anymore. But if there's humility and the friction comes against it, there's no pride there. So what gets exposed is actually the pure heart. This is what God's doing. He's restoring purity in the body of Christ. But we have to want that for that to really happen. And so he is asking you, will you desire for me to make you pure? 